today is grocery shopping day. All right, so I've already almost gotten the pantry cleaned out and ready to go. Um, need to go through a few more things in here to get a good idea of what we need. Um, basically, we need everything. The pantry is pretty bare. I mean, we have the staples. We have, oh, what's over here? We have sugar, we have brown sugar, we have salt. Um, flour is down there that needs to get filled up. Um, this is like our, I don't know what this is. This is like a catch all. These are some pretzels that have been left open. Potatoes that went bad, unfortunately. Chips that have been left open. Brown rice. I don't even use brown rice. Oh, I have a friend. Hi, buddy. Hi. Um, so we are going to go through this and clean it out, and then I'm cleaning out the refrigerator. And then I'm going for a walk, and then I'm going to the grocery store. And you are in your pajamas, sir. So sticking on budget 101 when you're grocery shopping is to make sure you know what you have. So then you know what you need. Seems simple enough, but it's amazing how helpful that is. I don't know what these things are. Oh my gosh, we still have road trip food in here that is just not good anymore. Those can stay. These can go. We clearly need food. All right, we still have some pasta and gluten-free pasta. I, we had an onion that was trying to sprout, so I uh, took care of that. Um, we have some self-rising flour still. I need to figure out what to do with this because um, my mother-in-law used it when she was baking something. I can't remember what it was. Something yummy, I'm sure. Um, and I just don't use self-rising flour, so we're just going to have to figure out how to use that up. Um, and then we have flour, and then we have a thing of oats back there. Anyway, things are looking pretty bare. I do have some stuff, so when I'm writing my menu, um, it's just important to know what you have so then you don't buy stuff that you don't need. That is it's a pretty simple, it's a pretty simple technique, um, but I don't always do it. And I don't think everyone else always does it either, which is why um, we end up with food that we never use. So, all right, onto the refrigerator. I finished going through the refrigerator. I still do not like my refrigerator, but it is what it is. So that is looking a lot better. I also um, forgot, I have some stuff downstairs that I need to check out and see um, what I need. I know we need lunch meat because we have none. I also went ahead and cleaned out our freezer because it was looking pretty bad. Um, so <laughs> seasonally, so this is just kind of leftover stuff. Seasonally, this is our popsicle basket. Um, we make our own popsicles. I will make a video on that because it is maybe one of the fav my favorite things that I've ever figured out to do um, with that little popsicle mold down there. We have basically two people who enjoy making popsicles, so they just do a steady rotation and they're making them a lot. Um, it's way cheaper than buying popsicles at the store, unless you're buying like the really super cheap, um, fake, like basically Kool-Aid in a, in a popsicle. Um, but I like having at least something somewhat real, so you can buy like 100% juice and it's so much cheaper can make your own popsicles. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna go downstairs and see what the refrigerator and freezer look like down there. All right, checking out our fridge downstairs. Oh, actually we have way more stuff than I thought we did, so that's good. Oh, like, we have plenty of apples. I am not going to buy a single apple. So we are gonna move those upstairs. That's the problem of having two refrigerators as things get lost. We also have a bag of carrots still and some peppers that are hopefully good. Oh, two bags of carrots. Man, not buying carrots, not buying apples. I will buy some eggs, not buying celery or bread. I have more lettuce. Let's see what this lettuce looks like. It actually looks somewhat decent. And we have bagels still, um, cilantro. I guess I'm gonna make tacos tonight. Oh, and I didn't know we had these either. Okay, I am so glad we came down here. We're doing a lot better than I thought we were. And we still have this lettuce. I will probably get one more of these because we eat them a lot. And then a friend gave us some lettuce from her garden. So we will have that for lunch. This is leftovers from a gathering that we were at on Saturday. Not our leftovers, but someone else is going to them because it's so nice. Um, oh, here's what we're making. This is what we're making those popsicles out of. It's just uh, all these organic strawberry flavored lemonade. It's only 20% juice, so not fantastic, but could be worse too. We still have a gallon of milk. So basically, we just need eggs. Hi, I hear you. Someone up at the laundry chute. Um, basically, we just need eggs and maybe one thing of sour cream because we go through a lot of it. And maybe, 
Oh, our cheese drawer is looking actually pretty good too, other than a little dirty. That is going to be for pizza, which I haven't made yet. That's actually looking pretty good. Oh, I don't think we need cheese either. There we go. Okay, the other trick right now is that we just don't have everybody home and so it's really hard for me to gauge how much food we need because we just don't have everyone here. We have lots of frozen veggies, lots of frozen fruits, we don't need any of that. I might pick up some chicken because I think I might want to make some chicken tonight and that's still frozen so maybe just a package of chicken. We have lots of sausage. All right, I'm picking up eggs for sure. There we go. That makes me happy. I'm glad I did that. Grocery haul time. Again, I took Gianna with me to the store, which was good because she kept me to the list almost. <laughs> there were a few times I'm like, oh, but I meant to put this on the list and we actually do really need this. So anyway, she kept me accountable, I guess. Um, yeah, this is the last week of June, last weekly grocery haul. I stayed out of Costco for all of June. Um, Probably won't do that for July. We'll see. I used to go every single month and I think that was just killing our budget. So I'm trying not to go there every month. We'll see how it helps. Anyway, here is what we got. Starting with the produce, we got a bag of, what are those? A bag of potatoes, three bags of grapes, a bunch of bananas, some cherry tomatoes, and then regular tomatoes, so a bag of avocados, two regular cucumbers and then a bag of the mini cucumbers that are super good to just cut up and eat. Um, I got two cantaloupe, two packages of blueberries. I ended up with three bags of peaches and then a bag of plums. So hopefully these don't ripen too quickly, but I think they should be good. We kind of ran out of the like on the counter fresh fruit fairly early last week. So we still have fruit in the house, but not like this type of stuff. So Anyway, hopefully that will work out well. Um, some iced mocha for the older girls for a treat. Um, also to make popsicles with, that's really good. Got some more organic milk to make um, another batch of yogurt when my yogurt runs out. Um, two things of sour cream. Right, a thing of plain yogurt that I've been using to make ranch dressing. We were getting low on butter. We had no tub butter and then price of eggs went up again. Woohoo. Of course, this is the year that we decided not to get chicks. I shouldn't say that we have totally decided. We have not gotten chicks yet because the kittens have been enough work. <laughs> so anyway, to just two dozen eggs. We're having hot dogs tonight because it is one of those nights. I got these um, beef dogs and then these ones look really good for maybe the older people who care more about that type of thing. Um, and then some kielbasa that I want to try a recipe with this week. Um, three containers of lunch meat, some hot dog buns, some sunflower seeds for salads. Um, I was running out of parsley. And then I have two, I have two containers of pesto. This is totally impulse buy. They just looked really good. So some green olives, a um, couple things of Alfredo sauce, three containers of marinara sauce. I went to make a recipe this week and we didn't have marinara sauce, which I thought we did. So um, some gluten-free granola because I still haven't made my own and then these are to make popsicles from so 100% juice black cherry plum and I think the other is just grape juice so we'll see how that turns out um some mayonnaise and one thing of salsa thing of ketchup to just have an extra one on hand um the chip situation is a little out of hand but I think it's actually maybe it's not too bad anyway two bags of um potato chips we're gonna have some of those tonight this is a complete impulse buy. Have you ever had these? They're so good. They're, yeah, apple straws. They make them, yeah, 30% less fat than less, oh, than regular potato chips. See, they're healthy for you. Anyway, they're really tasty. Um, Marcy really likes these lime chips. I haven't really looked at the ingredients. I'm sure they're not great. Yeah, we won't look. Okay, um, but she likes those. And then another thing of chips. Oh, we have a box of salad back there. I don't know why it didn't get put in its spot. Um, I got three things at Walmart. We needed some lard. This is what we season our cast iron with. Um, please don't tell me if you're not supposed to do that. This is what we've been doing for years and we probably will continue. Um, we were out of peppercorn and then we needed some more shampoo. So did that at Walmart and this was more Aldi stuff. So some cotton swabs, otherwise known as Q-tips. And we just needed a few gallon Ziploc bags. 
we were running low on paper towels, getting close to running low on toilet paper. And then in here we have two things of ice cream because it's summer. So the total wasn't terrible. It was under $200, so I was happy with that. This will last us a week. I won't go back to the store for another week, I hope. Usually that's pretty safe. A week is pretty safe. You can you can usually make make things work for a week or so. So hopefully I won't go back for a week. And then the next week, of course, is the week of the fourth and that gets a little dicey. We have a guest in town um, and so I'm sure we'll have different food that we don't normally have, but, um, and then I might have to run up to Costco that week. So we'll see. Anyway, I ended up not getting meat. I was gonna get some chicken breast. It looked like their ground beef was on sale, but it was gone. It was not there when I was there. And I didn't, don't remember seeing it in the sale flyer thing that Aldi has. Um, so I don't know, maybe it was just a spur of the moment thing that they needed to get rid of some beef, but, and then there was no chicken. I don't know, we talked to the ladies we were checking out. There was almost no place to park. Like we were there at 2.30 or so in the afternoon. It wasn't like this crazy time of day. And I think the whole entire town decided to shop at Aldi this afternoon because it was crazy. Anyway, so that is the grocery haul for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.